Nothing yet, sir. How about you? Not a thing, sir. What about you guys? We ain't found shit. So the Montero, it was a very well-built, stout, over-engineered rig built by Mitsubishi. But overall, Mitsubishi did an awesome job building the Montero. I mean, it's known all over the world for its legendary status, being an off-roader, of course, the Dakar, everything. It's just a really well-built rig. But there are some Mitsubishi-ness. What I mean by that is there are some things that kind of question why they went cheap on. And one of the things is the fuse box cover. And we all know if you're a Gen 2 or a Gen 2.5 owner, this is the most common thing that happens to the fuse box cover. So here's the issue. The diagram that would be on the cover of the fuse box, it disappears through time. Um, heat cycles, just exposure to the elements uh, and time. The, the, um, the writing or whatever picture that was printed on the fuse box cover um, just disappears. And if you look at my fuse box cover, uh, you probably don't see any anything on it. I'm thinking the only remnants you see is probably right here. There's a little bit of writing. You can see it's in yellow. But other than that, it's gone. So um, if I ever have to do any type of electrical or uh, troubleshooting and diagnosis, I don't have the map or a diagram to see which relays and fuses are designated to whatever spot in the junction box. So I have to Google it, go online, and try to find the one for the USDM Monteros because the world spec ones are slightly different because they're equipped with different other features that we didn't get here in the States. But uh, that's what I had to resort to over the years. Fortunately, I didn't, I, don't have, I didn't have a lot of electrical issues about once or twice where I had to find something, which isn't a big deal. But it's still good to have the diagram. Um, I don't know what Mitsubishi did. Um, they probably they just skimped out on it, and and I'm pretty pretty disappointed that this is something that so something simple that didn't last long. So um, there has been other solutions from other Montero owners where they produced the sticker to overlay the existing fuse box. Um, I even tried to. Um, design one. Um, I did the diagram and did the map. I tried to try to uh, compare it from some of the one pictures I found online of the of the uh, fuse box cover and um, the sticker company. As you can see here, I had a sticker company that gave me a sample just to test out uh, test it out for like a year how how well it would hold up. And the progress was going good with that sticker company, but something fell through and it just never happened. I just never had time to going forward and try to find another company to reproduce a sticker but that brings us to this video um, there is a company out there that has provided a solution for us gen 2 gen 2.5 owners for our fuse box covers so the company is called 3d cad works uh spell it by 3d c a d w u r x and they're a company that recently in the past year year and a half that started developing product uh, solutions for the Montero platform. Um, they have a few things like some cup holder solutions uh, because we all know these 90 vehicles, auto manufacturers just didn't put a lot of emphasis on adding cup holders. Uh, I guess in the 90s, no one really uh, made a big deal having Starbucks cups or just drinking stuff in their vehicle. So if you know anything about cars, 90 vehicles, even 80s just didn't a lot of, have a lot of cup holder solutions from factory so 3d 3d cad auto works uh, provide solutions for the montero so they have a single dual cup uh, um, cup holders uh, for i think the gen 3 they have a few solutions for like usb ports to modernize uh you know for charging like cell phones and tablets and stuff like that using the you know a usb connector that's pretty much standard on most cars today but their most recent product they released is a replacement fuse box cover and it has all the has the diagram printed on there and it looks a little bit more modern as far as the font and all that stuff and i went ahead and purchased it from them uh, and this video obviously is just uh unboxing installation which shouldn't take that long and just overall impression review of the product so honestly i the first as i unbox this this is the first time i've seen this uh, 
this fuse box cover in person. So uh, pretty excited to see what it looks like. I've only seen the pictures, but uh, let's go ahead and unbox it and get the thing installed. So here we go, we're gonna unbox it. Really well packaged. And we're always, I'm all about supporting small businesses. So you're welcome, 3D CAD work. So here it is. That is the 3D CAD works fuse box cover. So yes, yeah, see this is what I'm talking about, the factory um, diagram map. This is how it should have looked like from the factory one. As you can see, uh, he's nailed it down to the clips, the shape, both sides. Uh, he's pretty much nailed it. Yeah, this is a really good piece. It's it has nice thickness. It's actually thick, just as thick as the factory uh, piece. It's much more sturdier. Uh, factory piece is much more flimsy. Um, that could also be due to age, but this is a lot more sturdier. Yeah, and it has these uh, where it secures. He installed these nice rubber like bumpers right here you see right here that's actual rubber because to take these off you have to press these in and that's a nice feel and he has like a hinge type of uh here unlike the factory one here that's the factory so It's just uh, hinged by the plastic attached to it. His has like an actual, you see right there, and then he has that rubber grommet. So that's well, that's a well thought out design. Um, I'm pretty impressed with this. So yeah. But yeah, everything is here. Um, I'm kind of familiar with the diagram because I have messed with it. And this is pretty much all uh, on point. We'll go ahead and compare it to show you what I'm talking about. Pretty much has it right. Um, those are the relays for the AC right there. Um, fog light, tail light is on point right there. Um, let's see. Headlamp relay. I'll see alternator that was not an option here and then you have all the fuses listed all right there even their amperage the fuse amps yeah everything is on point on the factory uh, junction box so let's go ahead and install it
So there you go. That's the uh, fuse box cover from uh, 3D CAD Works for the 92 to 2000 Mitsubishi Monteros here in the North American market. I don't know if he will be producing. I'm sure if you inquire uh, to him, if you are someone out overseas looking for a fuse box cover for your Pajero, um, it might not match the USD one, the USD ones that he's offering here. So I mean, I would contact him see if he can produce one for. Uh, your Pajero since they since the diagrams are slightly different because they're equipped they're equipped with different uh, uh, Equipment on the world spec Pajeros, but yeah, that is the uh, that is a fuse box cover uh, It's a very qu good quality piece uh, as you saw in the video um, He did make some improvements over the factory one obviously you can actually see the diagram but the uh, locking hinges are uh, better design in my opinion thickness is uh, just as thick as factory and it's a little bit more sturdy so I think I'll hold up for many years uh, it's a great replacement obviously they're no longer available from Mitsubishi and if you happen to find one from a used Pajero or Montero the likelihood of that diagram still being um, visible on the cover is most likely uh, not going to be the case I have put the link to 3d CAD works on their website that's them so definitely check them out and I highly recommend this product if you have a Montero and uh, yeah that's all I got hope you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one